This video is brought to you by Ola Dance. Today, we're checking out the Ola Dance Wearable Stereo, a set of true wireless open ear earbuds, giving all day comfort and battery life uh, and great sound. And most importantly, unlike most earbuds or headphones, uh, these do not obstruct your ear, so you can still hear all of your surroundings. Making them fantastic for working out outdoors, to hear oncoming cars, uh, or even to use in the office, allowing you to listen to your music and still be able to easily speak with colleagues. After using the Ola Dance wearable stereo headphones, uh, these have become my new go-to earbuds that I wear whilst working at home uh, or while working out. Today, I will share with you my experience and cover everything you need to know. As always, I will leave all the purchase links down in the description. But first, I am doing a giveaway on this brand new iPhone 14 in this beautiful blue color. If you guys want a chance to win, be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment your favorite feature of the Ola Dance wearable stereo earbuds, along with your Instagram username, and then follow me on Instagram, where I will announce the winner on November the 27th. Okay, so let's start off with the unboxing. Right away, I like the uh, small environmentally conscious packaging while still providing a nice presentation. Inside, we get the quick start guides, a charge case in this nice uh, matte blue finish, along with a USB-C to a charging cable. And inside the charge case are the Ola Dance wearable stereo earbuds in this energy orange color uh, that really pops. So to uh, keep things simple, from here on, I'm gonna refer to the Ola Dance wearable stereo as OWS. Now the OWS has uh, come in four colors, including this sporty uh, bright orange look, uh, which looks good, uh, but if you want, they also have more subtle colors available, such as white and silver. While it does show fingerprints, I do like the grippy matte finish on the charge case. The charge case is definitely a bit bigger compared to a typical wireless uh, set of earbuds charge case, but what matters most here is the thickness. And this is where the charge case of the OWS is still quite slim. And this means it comfortably sits in your pocket and can easily be taken in and out. On the back, we find USB-C, always good to see USB-C. And then displayed on the inside very neatly are the OWS earbuds themselves. Now these are held in magnetically, uh, which is great, meaning they won't fall out. Now, taking a closer look, the OWS earbuds feature a unique look. Without a headband connecting them, this allows for the buds to be more portable and still maintain that open ear design. You may think that uh, these look like a pair of bone conduction headphones, but that's actually not the case. Instead, the OWSs use precisely uh, positioned and angled drivers to send the music right to your ear canal while still maintaining that open ear design. And this design choice has quite a few advantages over bone conduction, especially when it comes to sound, but more on sound in a sec. Each earbud has two parts. First, there's the main portion, which contains the driver. The OWSs use a 16.5 millimeter driver, uh, which is around three times the size of a typical uh, in-ear earbud. Here, you will also find a touch surface for your typical smart assistant and media controls. I found the controls to be reliable uh, and responsive. And then the bottom portion is the battery. Now the OWSs pack an impressive 16 hours of battery life per charge, and it takes just two hours to charge them. Now, what is interesting uh, with the OWSs is the charge case doesn't actually contain a battery. So all of the power comes straight from the earbuds themselves. If you want even more power, OLEDANS do also sell a charge case with a built-in battery, uh, but with 16 hours of battery life coming just from the earbuds, this will be more than enough for most. To give you an example, I only charged them once in the past two weeks. In the hand, the earbuds feel uh, super soft and lightweight, thanks to having this nice silicone texture going all the way around, and this creates for a really comfortable fit in the ear. Speaking of which, let me show you what these look like on. So to fit the OWS earbuds, what you wanna do is sort of align them with your ear like so, and then rotate them to hook them around the ear, uh, and this will position the driver with your ear canal. This positioning also eliminates the risk of any hearing damage that can occur with more typical earbuds uh, and headphones. Once they're on, they feel super light and secure on the ear. Now, this is because they use five points of contact. This means the little weight that there is uh, is well distributed around your ear, and this also gives a very secure fit. Now, I've gone running with these, and I've even done a few workouts, and never do they move or fall off. I can even uh, shake my head, and they stay firmly into place. During my run, I also had a chance to test the IPX4 sweat and waterproof capabilities as it was raining that day. And people say it always rains in London. 
During my workouts, I found the buds to be very comfortable uh, and secure, and importantly, they also definitely get loud enough. Now, if you are cool like me and happen to wear glasses, uh, rest assured you can wear these comfortably alongside your glasses. Uh, I found the OWSs to sit comfortably next to the frame of my glasses without interfering or creating any kind of discomfort. And because they are so light and use this soft silicone texture, uh, I can easily wear them all day. Since you have nothing uh, in or covering your ear, after a while you kind of just forget that they're even there. I work from home and share an office space with my fiance and I can have these on playing music or a podcast uh, and still hear her speak or have a conversation. This is something you can't do with a typical pair of earbuds or headphones. Yes, some earbuds or headphones uh, have transparency mode, but still, this will never be as seamless uh, or lifelike as the open ear design of the OWS. Okay, so design and fit are good, uh, but these are earbuds after all, so how do they sound? Well, here too, I was pleasantly surprised. Compared to a typical pair uh, of bone conduction headphones, I found the OWS to be significantly better when it comes to the sound performance. First, they get much louder. I typically listen at 50% volume indoors and 65% outdoors, the same as I would with any normal earbuds or headphones. And I would describe the uh, sound profile as being quite neutral. Highs are detailed, so you can really hear the nuances in your music. The mids are clear, importantly, not overpowered by the other frequencies, and the lows are present. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not the deep, punchy bass that you get with some over-ear or in-ear earbuds, but the bass is definitely there, even some sub-bass, which is especially great if you listen to genres like house uh, or hip-hop, which are more bass-heavy. One of the big advantages you get with an open ear design is a much broader soundstage. Soundstage refers to how big the sound is, and because the drivers are further away from your ear and the open design letting outside sound in, as a result you get really big sound, sounding almost like you're listening uh, to your music on a pair of speakers placed in a 3D environment rather than a pair of earbuds and this creates a real sense of immersion. Of course, on the other side of that, because by design they do let outside noise in, they obviously aren't meant for things like flying. When listening to podcasts, I found voices to be clear and true to life. And again, because of that really broad soundstage, uh, it almost sounds like the person you're listening to is in the room with you. Quite cool. And the uh, call quality, I would say, was definitely good too. Uh, the mics on these definitely perform above average. Have a listen. I am outside right now. Uh, there is a little bit of wind. There are some cars and boats uh, not far from me. So a little bit of background noise, but hopefully my voice will still be clear. One thing to bear in mind is compared to a typical pair of in-ear earbuds, the open ear design does mean that sound will leak a little bit more. Now this is not a problem outdoors, uh, but if say you are indoors, I suggest keeping the volume at around 50% or below. As far above that, sound will travel a bit, where for example a coworker sitting across from you may hear some of your music. The OWS earbuds also pair with the Ola Dance app. The app is simple, but allows you to install firmware updates, customize the touch controls, as well as creating a customized EQ. Now, this feature is great to see, but would have been even better if they added some sound presets for different genres of music. All right, so who are the OWS earbuds for? Well, first, these earbuds are absolutely perfect if you're working out outdoors. Being able to hear your surroundings, cars, bikes, children, uh, from a safety perspective is really important. The long battery life and lightweight design also create for a really comfortable fit. In fact, these are probably the most comfortable pair of earbuds I've ever worn. And this means they are great to wear in the office for a full workday. And the open ear design also means you can communicate and collaborate with colleagues without having to take them on and off or play and pause your music. And this is really nice. And why for me, the OWS earbuds have become my new earbuds that I wear whilst working at home or working out. These typically sell for 199 pounds, but to learn more about the Ola Dance wearable stereo open ear earbuds and to see the latest information on pricing, be sure to click the links in the description. A big thank you to Ola Dance for supporting the channel and thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions at all and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.